Hey guys, Freddie Mac here with Ferro Real Estate. I'm standing on top of this huge mountain in Muskoka, Huntsville with Josh Miller, head of our business development team. We're here to show you guys an exclusive sneak peek into 175 condo towns that True Life Developments is building and it's currently under construction. So you're gonna get to look at all of that. Josh, what do you think of these views? Oh my God, man, I'm blown away. It's the first time I've been up here in the fall. I can't believe the, the lake view, all the leaves changing on the trees. We're standing in the middle of a construction site, but it honestly feels like heaven. Fresh air is amazing. I love nature. We've got blocks being developed right here behind us. You can see the framing going on. You can hear the construction around here. It's great to see all the progress being made. Let's check it out. So Josh, right now we're walking up one of the roads that sort of connect all the blocks together. It's pretty cool. You see all these giant rocks. It's nice to see these things because you don't see this in Toronto. It's such a cool sight. The whole landscape of the Canadian Shield is amazing. Yeah, right? and it's nice to see the sites really progressing. Like we had a vision, we had a path forward, right? And Pharaoh played a big part in helping to realize that vision. And this is just the beginning. I mean, this is just phase one. There's still over a hundred units to go. I, I didn't realize how well the units would fit into the landscape up here. Yeah, and it's fit in really well. Like we did a great job of working with the town, working with everyone here and working with the local councillors to make sure that this was a vision that everyone sort of shared in, right? Yeah, I mean, do you remember we, we did some sponsorships at a bunch of different events in the early days and we were able to talk to you know the councillors, the business, business owners and really kind of educate them about what True Life's vision was. Yeah, getting a lot of site. feedback and making sure everyone was really involved and yeah. actively involved in what we were building. At one point there was some skepticism about, you know, would this site ever actually be developed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was really important that we share True Life's vision really educate everyone about the site, get some buy-in from the community, from small businesses, from the local politicians, obviously. Yeah, it was, it was getting everyone locally involved and it's really progressing. Like you're starting to see all the construction go on. Yeah. A lot of guys hard at work. So we're about to meet Cindy, one of the site supers with True Life Development. She'll tell us a bit about the construction and the progress that's been made. And it'll be nice for the fair viewers to get an inside look at construction. Yeah, right. for sure. Hey, Cindy. Hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Could you tell us yeah. a bit about like the construction and how that's been going? Construction? Well, yeah. this is block R right here. As you can see, we're getting materials for the roof. Yeah. Uh, we are mostly closed up. Just a couple of sections that are still open for sheeting. Yeah. Um, today we're doing the roof, so it's an exciting part. And these are the row towns, right? They're the row towns, yeah. The row is much smaller because it's, well, it's at the very top, it's very special. So that's right. the one we're getting done first. Yeah. The stacked ones are mainly the ones uh, down there. They're bigger. What stage are the stack towns at? Stack towns, we are doing the foundation walls right now. Okay. I saw the window guy here today too. They said the windows are going to be going in in the next few weeks or Correct. so. Yeah, we just finished all the shop drawing review for the window, so we're going to be ordering those and they'll be in there pretty soon. When do you expect completion for the project? Next summer. For phase one, right? For phase one, correct. Yeah, phase two probably starts sometime next year. Yeah, per pretty much immediately and then a year each phase. That's great. Well, could we take a look at what the views look like up there? Yeah, of That'd course. be pretty exciting. So just, I noticed only hard one hard hat, so maybe you head up with Josh. Yeah. I'll sure. hang back. Yeah. You don't want to mess Enjoy. up your hair. I don't want to mess up my hair, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy. So what's what's going on in here? Uh, here's a skeleton of the house being built. Uh, you know, the drywall goes on top of this and this is gonna be your living space. I'm just seeing this amazing view oh, here. Yeah. I guess this is like kitchen living room of somebody's unit. Yep. And this is what the view's gonna be. Yep. So we're gonna be entertaining your guests. The recreation room, technically, this is what this is called out as. Wow. So you get some friends over, that's your view. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, well let's head upstairs. Hello. Come on in here, guys. So this is actually gonna be the third floor master bedroom. And check out the view. So you wake up, take a look outside. This is your view from the third floor master bedroom. I think I might just sleep here tonight. I wanna to wake up to this tomorrow morning. So, Cindy, tell us what, uh, what are the guys working on back here? Well, as you can see, you can still see down into the third unit. That's gonna be like that when the building's actually finished. So, putting the sheathing on the roof and we're installing the actual roofing component right here. The residents can just walk right up here, have a coffee. Yeah, 
yeah, bring their friends. Glass, bottle of wine, something like Post that. Post party. And, and just kind of chill out, checking out this view. Yeah. We should have brought our coffees up here. Yeah, I bad. feel like we could just kind of like chill out, wait for the sun to come out, work on our tans a little bit. Might be a bit cold for that, but yeah. just fantastic. I just wanted to bring everybody over here onto the other side of the rooftop terrace. You still have a small body of water back there. You've got trees everywhere. You've got, you know, that Canadian Shield, Muskoka, rock formation everywhere. And really it doesn't matter which way you're facing. You have an incredible view. I think everything up here is just, is just beautiful. Wow. That was amazing. Yeah? Amazing. How are the views? Like, incredible. I just like picturing myself up there, having a coffee in the morning, yeah. or smoking some weed, maybe drinking some wine. Yeah. No, like if you're up on the rooftop patio there, you have some friends, like the views are incredible. Have you met Dave? Dave's awesome, I love <laughs> Dave. Dave's one of the operators. Yeah, let's go yeah. talk to Dave. Dave, how's it going, man? How are you, gentlemen? Good to see you. Nice to see you as well. How are you doing, Dave? Here well, you're the man. Good to see you. Yeah. <laughs> so things have been coming along, I guess? Like. Yeah, they've been progressing very nicely. Yeah. You've it's... been here early days, right? I have. Yeah. How yeah. do you like working up here? You know what, to be honest, the biggest challenge about working here, as you can see behind me, is getting lost in nature while you're trying to do your job. I bet. As an outdoor enthusiast, I really appreciate this. You're overlooking lake, there's wildlife in front of you. They're all over the place. We have to stop the machine to let the deer go by. And to think there's gonna be a residential resort, yeah. basically. Yeah. You know what, you can't beat it. And you're running that machine over there? And I run the excavator. We're preparing the crusher pad to lay the crusher so we can reuse all the material on site. Smart. And yeah, yeah. Arvin's a very smart individual. Can we check out your excavator? Absolutely, you're more <laughs> I've than welcome. I've never sat on one before, yeah. The novelty wears off real fast, but you're absolutely more than welcome to check it out. There you go. Can I operate it? No. No. That might be I'm gonna a little... move then. I'm gonna, you know what? Everybody get out of the way. <laughs> if Frankie presses the wrong Absolutely. button. Sit inside. Oh yeah, you have to. It's comfy in here. It's actually very smart that you're reusing a lot of the, the rock. Everything you see on this site is all granite. And you can see, look at the cross sections of the rocks as they break. Yeah. You can even, on some of them, you can see the sedimentary layers that over millions of years with the pressure you notice all the striations, right? So, compression. Yeah. You leave it more, you might have diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> so Dave, yeah, thanks for thanks for showing us the operating side of the Anytime, Joe. construction. Yeah, it's great, man. It's very nice seeing you. you. Yeah, thanks, thanks Dave. As well. Yeah, Thank appreciate you. it. That's Dave. Yes. Yeah. So we're here with Arvin. Arvin's in charge of the foundation and site service on the property here. Uh, Arvin, why don't you tell us what are what are we looking at here? Well, all we see here in this site is rocks. We had to do a lot of blasting for the buildings and for the roads, access roads. At the moment, uh, we have like three, four positions that we are working on. As you see, the machines up there are working on the uh, big boulders that we're gonna produce our gravel here. So we're gonna crush all those rocks mm -hmm. and use it for backfill. And down here, we are working on suspended slab on uh, block H. And at the same time, we're working on the retaining wall right beside the road and uh, block F. Okay, so you got a lot going on at, yep. at the same time. Yep. What, what's next then? When the foundation walls comes up and the slab is in place, we start working on the services that goes into the building. And right after we do waterproofing and backfilling the wall. Okay, awesome, Arvin. Thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Thank you telling us about what's Thank happening Thank you so here. much. Thank you. Right now, we're standing here on the dock at River Mill Park, right in the middle of downtown Huntsville. Back in the very early stages of the Summit Muskoka, we did a lot of brand awareness, a lot of PR within Huntsville to bring in the community, get the support of local businesses, local politicians. So we actually hosted an event right here in River Mill Park. It was an amazing party. We had about four or 500 people show up. We wanted to showcase the site itself. And back in the early stages, it wasn't really accessible by car. And we actually took tours of about 20, 25 people at a time out right here on the Muskoka River. 
And this is one of my favorite spots in downtown Huntsville. You're literally about a two minute walk to great pub, gonna rent kayaks and, and canoes right behind me here, shopping, restaurants. I think that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna take a little walk through downtown Huntsville. Welcome to Main Street Huntsville. It's been a long day. A lot of walking around the construction site. Thought I'd just take a break. I saw this beautiful chair here. Oh, so relaxing here in Huntsville, that's for sure. Whee! I'm standing here in downtown Huntsville at the corner of Maine and Brunel. This is basically the start of sort of the main part of the downtown strip. I love downtown Huntsville. This is my favorite Muskoka town. A lot of people don't know this. It's actually the largest of the big three Muskoka towns. You've got the best culture, best nightlife, the most restaurants, shopping, access to golf courses, resorts. There's nearby skiing, and it's just a really cool place to hang out. Obviously, summer is kind of the most happening time of year here because of the, the size of Huntsville, because of the population. Uh, it's got a pretty happening scene all year round. If you get bored sitting up on your rooftop terrace at the summit, you want a little bit more action, you know, tons of stuff to do. Why don't we go take a look what's happening down the street? While I'm here, I figured I'd try all the chairs. Well, I hope you enjoyed our tour of downtown Huntsville. Thanks so much for watching. It's been a long day. I think I'm gonna go grab a couple of pints to finish the day off. See you later. Thanks everyone for joining us on this tour of what we're doing in Muskoka, Huntsville with True Life Developments, 175 condo towns that were now under construction. Josh, beautiful weather, giant rocks that we're standing on. Love it. All the leaves are changing. What do you think of Muskoka? Ah, you know what, it's beautiful. It's been a fantastic day. I love spending time up here. I could get used to this. So we'll create more beautiful content for you guys. Follow along for more.